Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode of Custom Card Review with Finley. Cheers, mate! This is only the second episode of the series, but I figured I'd try something a little different. You see, about a year back I was in need of some art of a Void Hound from World of Warcraft for a custom Hearthstone card, but everything I found was already used in the game, so I decided to create my own. Now, I'm no master artist, so instead of creating it from scratch, I decided to edit an already existing art piece, and I found the perfect template through the artwork for the Hearthstone card Cave Hydra, created by Blizzard artist Peter Stapleton. After some messing around, I ended up with this result. Oh, a handsome devil! Why, thank you, Finley, I liked it too. So I saved the piece to my computer and then forgot all about it until a couple months later when I was again in need of some Voidhound art, this time for a colossal minion. So I messed around with the image some more and ended up with what you see here. I saved it to my computer and once again forgot all about it. Oh bother! Then recently while going through files on my computer I stumbled upon the two images and decided to share them on the custom Hearthstone Discord server in case anyone could find a use for them. And sure enough, right away I started seeing cards using the artworks. So this episode will be slightly different from the first. Today we'll only be looking at and rating cards that use the art piece I edited. If you didn't watch the first episode, we'll be using a 3 star rating system that includes both design and balance. Cards will be rated either rot, good or proper good. Now let's get on with the show. Let us explore Uncharted cards. The first card is Seek and Seek, brought to you by Reddit user Dr. P with no E. If this name sounds familiar, that's probably because I also featured two cards from them in the last episode. Hello, what's this? Seek and Seek is an 8 mana 7 8 demon with Colossal plus 6 for Priest. Seek and Seek is summoned with 6 Ice Stalks that will each look at a random card in your opponent's deck when Seek and Seek is played. The Ice Stalks are 1 2 demons with Taunt that will give you a copy of the card they looked at once they die. Oh! This is a very cool design and very flavorful for a creature based so much around ice. I think the design of this card is top notch, but perhaps the balance is a bit over tuned. This minion gives you bodies with 1320 worth of stats and will eventually give you copies of 6 cards from your opponent's deck and that might just be too much. While the card has no immediate effect, the ice stalks all have taunt so it does offer some protection while you wait for the card to pay off. I really like this card, but I would increase either the cost or reduce the stats of the main body. You seem to really like the card, Finley, so what would you rate it? This is proper good. Yeah, I agree. The next card is Bibolf the Voracious by Mr. Stupid the Wonderful. This card was shared to the custom Hearthstone Discord server. Bibolf is a 4 mana 3 3 demon with Colossal plus 6 for Warlock. When Bibolth is summoned, it will eat all friendly minions. The appendages for Bibolth are Bibolth's Eyes, which are 1 1 demons with a death battle that will make Bibolth immune this term and force him to attack a random enemy. Hmm. This card has a couple of flaws. For example, the way the effect of the main body is phrased, it will eat not only itself but also all of its appendages when summoned. Oh, oh, bother! The OP specified that this was a mistake, so I'll rate this card how I believe it's intended to work. Assuming Bibolf only eats the minions you already have on the board and not itself and its eyes, I think this card is overtuned anyway. On its own, Bibolf is summoned with 9 9 worth of stats for 4 mana with an upside, and in addition to that it also features the phrase eat, which usually suggests that it will also gain the stats of the minions eaten and all of that combined is just too much. I would significantly increase the cost of this card, but mostly I think the design needs a rework. I think there's something salvageable in the design of destroying your own minions when summoning this, so maybe instead it could summon an appendage for each friendly minion Eden. Still, with all of its flaws, I would only rate this card 2 stars, or as Finley would say, That's good! 
The next card is brought to you by Captain Hang from Hothcards.net. It's Shadhar the Insatiable for Priest. This is an 8 mana 411 demon with a Titan keyword. Shadhar's Titan abilities are Profane Dominion, destroy all enemy 4 attack minions wherever they are. Phantasmagoria, replace your deck with 10 cost minions. And finally, Aberrant Mutations. Gain Poisonous Rush and only you can target this with spells or hero powers. Shadhar can also become Corrupted and will then become Colossal plus 6, similar to the other cards. As a Colossal, Shadhar's appendages are Shadhar's Ice Stalks. These 1-4 demons will gain a random bonus effect after Shadhar destroys a minion. Hello! I'll start off by saying that I really like the idea of a Titan minion becoming Corrupted to also gain the Colossal keyword. If that's not the ultimate usage of the artwork, I don't know what is. I like the effects of the Ice Stalks too, but I gotta say I'm not a huge fan of the Titan abilities. Only the first ability actually supports the Ice Stalks, but the ability to destroy all your opponent's 4 attack minions no matter where they are with no counterplay is just too impactful and can ruin entire playstyles, which isn't fun. On the other hand, the other abilities are just too slow and in the case of Phantasmagoria, downright bad for you. So I would rework this card by giving it all new abilities that each interact with destroying minions in some way, but not on the scale of the Profane Dominion ability. All of that said, the design of this card still ensures it the highest rating, so let's say it together faintly, this card is... PROPER GOOD! Now let's take a look at Hagrath the Hungering by the Arcanist. This card was also shared on Hearthcast.net. Hagrath is a dual class card for Warlock and Demon Hunter and is an 8 mana 4-5 demon with Colossal plus 6. Its appendages are Hagrath's Ice Stalks, which are 1-2 demons with an end of turn effect that causes Hagrath to steal 1 attack and 1 health from a random enemy minion. Hagrath itself also has an ability that will resurrect all ice dogs that died this turn at the end of each turn. Rise and give him the old what bar! I do like this card, and while the effects of the main body and the appendages do synergize well together, this card is just very snowbally, to the extent that if you don't kill it early enough, you might need to use a removal spell of some kind. The main body has fairly low stats though, so it's gonna take a while for it to get to unreasonable levels and it might just be fine balance-wise because of that. I gotta say, I'm a bit unsure how to rate this. What do you think, Findlay? That is proper good! Yeah, I guess I can get behind that. The final card is Whizbang's Failed Design for Warlock. This card was created by Starfast and also shared on Hearthcards.net. Whizbang's Failed Design is a 4 mana 3 5 demon with an aura effect that triggers whenever you play a minion with the keyword mini and will then get you a copy of the original minion. This was the most recently shared card and you can tell because it features the brand new keyword miniaturize or I guess in this case mini. If you aren't caught up on the latest Hearthstone news, miniaturize is the newest keyword from the upcoming Hearthstone expansion with Spang's Workshop and cards with the keyword will add a 1 cost 1 1 copy of itself to your hand which then features the keyword MINI. This is certainly an interesting design, but I am not the biggest fan of it. With this card, all you need is one card with a miniaturized keyword and you could go infinite, at least until the failed design dies. This is also without mentioning that Warlock hasn't even had any miniaturized cards revealed yet, at least not by the time of recording this, so I feel like this card would make more sense in neutral. With all of that in mind, I'm going to dog a point for this and only rate it. Actually, you say it, Finley. This is good. That's it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy this type of content, because honestly, I'm not quite sure. The last episode didn't get that many views, but it has the highest subscriber to views ratio of all my videos, so please let me know if you want to see more episodes of this. And subscribe to the channel for more custom Hearthstone content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.